These ladies got his hair up, pinned up like a like a samurai. Cut your hair before Time to cut this dude's hair. hair. Send more, buddy, send more. Now I just thought I'd take this time before we get the cooking operation started to basically just welcome everybody to today's cooking show slash barbecue slash get together. Alright ladies, looking absolutely beautiful there. Can you tell us what we got going on? You do marinate when you do marinate. Massage, massage. Massage, massage. We will wash our hands, huh? We already do wash our hands. Okay, so just doing a little marinade on the, uh, the pork chops. Yeah. Well, folks, if you see what I mean about these pork chops lately, they have such a big fat it's ring around them. Spicy, spicy, like the only reason I got them today because the ladies, the ladies love that fat. But we foreign guys do not want all that fat. I was like, all right, just let them do it. Got the sauces going on. And they're just patting it, spanking it, and rubbing it down. Yeah, but we wash our hands. Oh, well, that's good, baby. That's good, baby girl. Because I know what Peter said. Oh, you dirty your hands. Like that. What, did somebody comment about you not washing your hands? Yeah. No. Maybe <laughs> in case. In case lang. Sabihin yung Pilipina, hindi na <laughs> Folks, these ladies been reading all your comments Inunahan coming across. Inunahan mo kayo. Kasi advanced sila eh. Advanced na Unlimited sila. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Baba. Mm. Yeah, folks, again take the uh, butane gas shove that dude right in there make sure it's off it's in the unlock position but it's got to be off just lock it in there and that thing is ready to cook this is our uh, camping rice cooker here we're gonna give it away but we're going camping again so we're gonna use it a few more times camping Even till I was alive. Baby, you're looking beautiful today. My goodness. Baby, you are one hot mama. Yay! You can win them hot mama contests down in the village, baby. I gave you a dinner. Yeah. I'm not going to see nothing. Folks, I gotta tell them myself and these ladies, we just we just won the world's worst parent award. They were sitting there messing with that port. I was messing with this camera. I looked down and said, where's Forrest G? And folks, he done made it around that corner over there. He was headed toward the swimming pool. Amy and the ladies were jumping walls. Now he didn't go over there and just jump in. He just went over there and sat down, but still. I gotta own that one. I gotta own it. You know, you're, the, you're, you're the king in the castle. You can't blame nobody but yourself. That was close. I mean, my damn heart is racing. That's the thing with Forrest G. He loves the swimming pool. And if you don't watch him, that dude makes a beeline for that pool over there. Amy, thank you. Ladies, thank you. Whew, my heart's still racing, folks. But like I said, I can't blame nobody but myself. Sorry about that, buddy. Stay. Watch this dude. He's gonna try to head out again because he's persistent. Where you going? Well, don't hit for that swimming pool, man. I'm scared the heck out of Papa. See, this dude done made a second break for it, but got wife number one is signed the exclusive Forest G Patrol, so we don't have that same incident happen, folks. Good job, baby. Go. All 
All right, folks, we got the rice, and uh, just tell everybody, how much rice did you put in here, baby? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Okay, well, she put a bunch of rice in there and some water, and then all we do is come down here, get a tune out of this trombone. A little bit of wind going on today. We can use that for a wind break if we need it, but I think we're good to go. So the rice is off to the races. And if you have Filipinas, it's always best to cook the rice first because when we get into the cooking operation, you know, nobody else really cares about the rice, but they do. So always cook your rice first. Get that pot out of the way where they're not left hanging because they will not eat until they have the pot of rice ready to go. We're pretty much set up, just waiting on everybody to get here. You know, whatever time they get here, it's up to them because we're gonna drink beer, cook, barbecue, maybe till the sun goes down, watch the sunset over those mountains to uh, to our north there. Just beautiful mountains here in Zambales province, folks. I know it's cold over in America, and I hope you guys are having a great day. I know you're freezing your balls off in the grind. I got it. But over here, I'm just enjoying the warm weather with a cold beer and a fresh cigar, courtesy of my buddy Duke in California, man. Thank you very much again, my brother. Folks, there's no time like the present. They got their rice done. I'm gonna take their rice off of here. That's some hot. Whew. Gotta go quickly with it. Ooh, shaka laka laka. Get the rice out of the way. And go ahead and start on my chicken soup. Because what happens, I get caught up in the mix. There's nothing to eat. Nobody's got anything to snack on. So I'm gonna go ahead full force with the uh, with the chicken soup. It's just my signature chicken soup. Just grill up a little chicken on the on the olive oil. You've seen it before unless you're new to my channel. But how can you not love this backdrop here for the cooking show, my friends? My goodness. Got me a sand mix, super dry. I like super dry actually, but I ordered a Budweiser. Either wife number two or Amy messed it up, but you know what? Never look a beer in the mouth. Mm. All right, so. No, baby, that's a super dry. That's not a Budweiser, but I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. Today we will be using the Lodge 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. That's made in America right there by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. Great piece of gear. This video is not sponsored. I don't have any sponsors. You know why? Because I'm too unpredictable. I can't be controlled. I don't want to be controlled by corporate America, so ain't nothing I do sponsor. But I do love this piece of gear because it's a great piece of gear. It's made in America, and I cook with this thing every day. If you've never seen any of my cooking shows, there's a lid to it, which also doubles as a second pot. This is great right here to cook eggs in real quick. Uh, it's also, you know, the lid to the main pot. Okay, so let me let me get one of my lovely assistants over here. Uh, who wants to be the assistant, ladies? Don't don't everybody jump up at once. Janice, thanks for volunteering, baby. Oi, I'm not asking. Oi. Oh, come on, baby. All right, 
right, hand me the uh, give me the chicken, honey. Folks, we'll go ahead and get a tune out of that trombone. Get out of here, dog! Yeah. Damn dog over here coming in trying to steal my meat. Baby, is the chicken cut up, ready to no. go? No. Folks, I got two sous chefs that don't understand uh, food prep. Strapped on my side is the Bear Grills, the fake Bear Grills survival knife right here. I'm gonna issue this over to wife number two where she can chop up that chicken. There's no time like the present to get this soup going. Just drop it in there like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. There we go. Get chicken in the pan. Right like that. There you go, baby. Gonna hit it with a little lemon pepper. Get that lemon pepper. Hit it hard with the lemon pepper. There we go. There you go, baby. Why do we hit it hard with the lemon pepper, folks? It's like olive oil. You cannot put enough lemon pepper or olive oil on any dish that you make. I'm telling you. Shout out to Kevin. Kevin should be here any moment, man. But thanks very much for, folks. He gave us a big old thing of uh, lemon pepper seasoning. I think he ordered a bunch of stuff from Lazada, so he he uh, threw down on us. Oh, got the beautiful Amy coming in here, and I might have some more Lazada products that just arrived. Folks, let me give you a gander at the beautiful Amy. Come on in here, baby. Listen, your boyfriend, he gonna see you. Folks, you got a boyfriend. I'm not trying to get her in trouble. She's over here working, minding her own business. Thank you, baby. Just put it in that chair right there. I think they're actually bathing suits for all you ladies. Very good. Yeah, I got some extra small tea bags. Thank you, Amy. I got the chicken cooked a little bit. It's time for the vegetables. Of course, G's over there knocking chairs down. Folks, that, that dude is all boy. As we say, that boy tear up a freight train. All right, so the chicken's the chicken's about about nine percent cooked. It's time for the vegetables. What we got going in there with them taters, baby. Go ahead and put them taters in there. Put them taters in, all of them. Bring them on in there, folks. Think about taters. It takes so long for them to cook. All right, what else, baby? You got garlic, carrots. Yeah, they have garlic now. Okay, we got the garlic, the peppers, and the taters. You want this or later? Uh, we we'll do cabbage later. What else you got? No more. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. All right, so I need a little water, ladies. Little water? Yeah, give me a little bit of water to put in here. Not Let me enough. spice it up a little bit. I got these ladies hollering at me. Let me go in with a little oregano. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, here. Go in with it. Go ahead. Put it in there, baby. That's enough? Uh, one more cup because them taters gonna soak that up. But yeah, a little bit of chili, not too much because the ladies don't like the spiciness. I hit it with a little bit of chili powder, a little basil leaves, you can't go wrong with that. Some basil leaves, there you go, baby. Yeah, that's enough. A little thyme. Why is it spelled T H Y M E? I don't know if it's thyme, thyme. Let's just say it's thyme time, and then you're right all the way around. Get in there. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> all right, folks, got the beautiful wife number one I'm coming in, giving wife number two a little break. She's on Forest G control, but Forest G keeps breaking through this little uh, fence of chairs, heading for the swimming pool. Got a close supervision on them now. Go ahead. Got the beautiful wife number one coming in here. And folks, she's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am convinced that when we get back to the village, she will win all of the Oi. Hot Mama contests. Because now she's eligible for the Hot Mama contest. And there's like 500 peso reward. We got two cubes going in there. And just put the lid on the top. Just let that bad boy cook. Take a break. Drink some beer. 
Always What's the secret to your success, girl? Always eating. Always eating. That's true. Let's take that little cutting board. Put the oxygen into that fire and get it heated up, folks. Baby, you have become the star of this show. Looking so beautiful. You are definitely one hot mama. You could possibly be the most beautiful mom in the world, baby. I'm talking, you look better than, I don't know. You look better than all the mamas. You need something if you need it. Yeah. Because, you know, I believe in fire protection. Let's get the chicken, let's I get the another. corn going. Sonic right here. We got gas. And we'll put the log right here, bro. There we go. Oh yeah. I'll let you do it. You can undo this. There's paper and oh. there you go. Right. Good idea, huh? We'll use it. I gotta go in. We're just gonna put corn on there. Got a tire rim down there. Is, uh, I got a electric uh, rotisserie that goes on there. All right, folks, before we get to cooking here, all right, Eric brought some corn to the fight. Now, what you got in the corn? Anything? Butter, butter, salt, and pepper, all buttered up inside that foil. And that fire is hot, so this corn won't okay. be taking too long. It's going to start popping like you guys were in that tent the other night. All right, so we got the, yeah, yeah <laughs> almost as high as we were almost. in that damn tent. So he's got the corn in there, and we got this room that the that grill fits in perfect. Yeah, the Kevin rim. brought the uh, Lodge Sportsman's Grill. And he's gonna put a fish on the sportsman's grill. You gotta yeah, cook the fastest about anything here. And what kind of fish you got, buddy? Tuna. Good been tuna. Got a tuna. So folks, once the lodge, once the lodge gets heated up, this tuna right here. Look at that. Uh, perfect size for the lodge I, I sportsman's wire, grill. Wire that sucker. Oh, okay. You wired it shut yeah, a little bit. I yeah. Wired shut that thing. That thing. Got the heads this big. We got a, we got a setup going on. It boom, Eric coming in off the top ropes with the chicken wings. And how you gonna how you gonna uh, how you gonna cook them wings, man? Just natural, natural, and we're gonna throw sauce and butter on the end, just like we did last time. So we're going hot we're going with today. hot wings. Doing the hot buffalo style. Awesome, brother. Look at this. It is hot, man. Already, this won't take long. This grill is cooking. You got a crew coming in here. <laughs> Carla, how you doing, darling? Good. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Good to see you coming back. Oh, it's time to Marcos, you want to? Ayan, okay, Marcos, Ayan. I almost got a pile of the wings on there. There's so many. Oh, okay. Oh, take a look at these wings. I was having a heart attack. <laughs> That's one of those uh, flavored up onions. Get an onion. We're gonna put the onion in here with the corn. This is ready to go, huh? Is that hot? About. I find this one. This one. That thing, I fall over. It's great. You put it in there and you just grab it and flip it over. Yeah. See, I made the mistake to put my fish in here without the foil. And every time I did that, it got nice and crispy on the outside, but it would stick to the basket. And I'd rip the damn fish apart when I opened it. Yeah. What's, what's good about that is it keeps all the juices and everything yeah, inside. Yeah. There's lemon stick. peppers in there. There's honey. lemon. There's oh, lemon pepper. She didn't put tomatoes. I don't know why she... I didn't put tomatoes on my fish. I don't understand. So we're, we're talking about the fish sticking to the basket when you're not using foil. And I haven't tried this yet, but I've done it on a grill. You can cut an onion in half and rub it on the grill. And that'll serve as like a natural way to keep things from sticking versus spraying a, a grill or a PAM or a grill uh, spray, uh, non-stick spray on there. But I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna do it next time I use this basket for my fish. All you do is rub an onion on there. Cut an onion in half, rub it on there, and it works on a grill, it should work on that fish basket. Well, that's, a good, that's a good way to stop it right there too, that foil. You don't have to worry about anything with foil on it. 
a gun. He oh, came yeah. straight off of one of those alley cat cartoons. Yep. That son of a bitch is sleeping. He's been up all night just trying to survive. Yeah, he's been through some battles like Big Baller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's probably who he was, he was fighting with. <laughs> Over there duking it out with Big Baller. No shit. Big Baller's Please. always in some stuff, man. Yeah, that's a nice knife right there. Yeah, it is. yeah this that's is a nice. Knife. That's a so that's a uh, shoppy purchase. Shoppy knife. How that much was, you get that for? I think it was like one. after shipping, it comes for like eleven and change. About eleven bucks for that yeah. knife right there. Nice decent, looking knife, bro. Decent knife. Oh yeah. That's a nice one right there. Came pretty sharp. Me too. I just want to get this over here. Switch some of this around, man, because I got a hot side of the grill, yeah, this and I got a cooler good. side of the grill right over. here. This roar like a out. big whale. That's it. No, yeah, no, ladies, tell them what happened to what happened to Forrest G. He said the waitress is jumping on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Forest G. Nothing, not go. He's not going to 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 go. not going to go. He's not going to go. He's not going to go. He's not going to I put the damn fire out, I think. Okay. So I'm going to take it off and let it cook a little longer. Yeah. Alright, we'll get the fan to it. Yeah. Take the fan right here. This is our fire starter right here. Yep. Get that little fan that Kevin bought and that thing fire right up, folks. Yeah, let's get it hot again. Kind of action going on with the cooking right now. Eric's got some of the chicken wings good to go. Waiting for the big, thick one. Swinging it. Well, Kevin's turning the fish over there. We got corn down below cooking. Let me show you my chicken soup. Oh, yeah. That's a, oh, shit, that's hot. Oh, my goodness, that's hot. Is that what they said? No. Stop. Percy, are they, are they speaking in Tagalog even when you're in here? Yeah. But it's okay, I said it's fine. I'm trying to catch something. I only hear cocina, so kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's without the butter. Yeah, that's, that's just, just hot sauce. That's Louisiana. Some Louisiana hot sauce on there. Yeah, let's get the butter on there too. Yeah, we gotta do the butter. Exactly the here, way bro. you made them last time, brother. That's yeah, that's what we gotta do. Yeah, they're going to get it. That's all it takes. God, you see flies? Flies are bombing, dive bombing. One on my own wheel. Whoa. Oh, you stop! <laughs> Maybe you put in the bowl. That's why. Janice, I said, hey, Janice, look, I have a frisbee. And he's like, she's like, oh. I said, no, Janice, this is not a hat for the ball. <laughs> she thought it was a hat for the volleyball. Oh, yeah. Get a shot at it. Hey, pitch me. Oh, my Whoa. gosh. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> so we got the last of the wings here. All right. Put on top. We got some sauce. We got some butter in here. Let me zoom in for a sec. Folks, check the look. Take a look at that hot sauce and butter. Mm. Hot sauce and butter is the recipe for wings, nothing else. Let's do you don't it, need brother. salt, you don't need pepper. It's all in the sauce. Oh shit, I'm gonna take a bath in hot sauce and butter if I'm not careful. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Gotta do the soft wing shake. Get to make sure the lid's nice and tight. It's wanting to pop off. Yeah, make sure it's tight. That pops off. You're gonna have right, hot sauce and butter in your eyes. Here we go. Take, take, take. Get it all going together. 
Shake your booty. Yeah. Shake your booty. No leakage yet. No leakage. Shake, shake, shake. Da, 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 da. Shake, shake, shake. Da, 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 da. Shake your booty. Now, let's see what it looks like You're after the it. shake. That's oh, what happens. Oh, my goodness. Look at those wings. Folks. No more butter, guys. Gone. Oh, my goodness. A little goodness. bit. A little bit. Happy <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh, you know what? Come on. Come on. Come we bought way too much, but oh. I thought I thought more people cook come. It yeah. Cook it all, bro. Cook it all. We'll give it away. Oh, no. huh, folks, we got a combination of pork chops, a little bit of beef on there. We got three grills going. Three grills going at the same time, my friends. Don't worry. We're gonna share. We're gonna share all of this. Hey, we don't need no leftover. We'll share it. Plenty of people here to eat, right? There you go. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Eric has been made in three grills at the same time. There you go. put more coal in it. All right, how is the food, everyone? Good. Delicious. delicious. It's delicious? Delicious. All right, folks. Got to give a shout out to the to the main grill man on the scene. This dude was rocking soaking wet three grills at the same time. Sixteen pieces of it. How's that corn, ladies? First, you want the corn. <laughs> First, you want the corn. He's sleeping, isn't he? He likes a corn. Does he like corn? Yeah. Listen, they're just telling you to save them extra corn. Oh, there's they're, extra they're, corn. they're saying Forrest G wants the corn. No! <laughs> little toasty, but look at that. Hey, love, do you want soupy? Oh, Butter delicious. infused. Mmm. Man, that's some good looking corn right Grilled there. Grilled up corn. Woo! Here comes the onion. Here comes, oh, yeah. Here comes the onion. Here comes the onion. I the, I, the Montana beef, onion. Beef, and I put some wasabi in this one. Wasabi? Oh, my God. So it's got a little... Little, little nip to it. Oh, yeah, that looks delicious, folks. I've never had a wasabi onion before. I'm getting ready to. It's got a little wasabi. <laughs> now, did you make the home? Did you make that homemade the wasabi? Because I don't know how to make wasabi. When you buy the wasabi paste or the powder? Uh, I, I prefer the paste. I use the powder. Yeah. Pretty much the powder is the paste, just add water, right? How is it, brother? Mm. Put a little pep in your stuff. It's got the beef, it's got the wasabi flavor, it's not hot. It's very good, man. You want to try?
sunset over there over the mountains. It's setting, it's setting over the mountains. I just want to thank everybody for joining us on today's barbecue get together. Our video, if you're not a subscriber on our channel, right there. Bottom right hand corner of your screen is a little overstay road sign. If you'll click that, hit subscribe, click the bell. Get on board our train, folks. Food, beer, visas, travel, bad behavior. A lot of beer drinking. Barbecue. Camping. Whatever, basically whatever I want to do. But I want to thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. Thanks goes out to 28,800 plus folks that hit that subscribe button. My goodness. The, the food was on time. It was absolutely delicious. Uh, shout out to Eric for manning that grill. Uh, Kevin and uh, all the ladies helping out, put the food together. And my chicken soup, the rice, a bunch of meat. I'm sharing with my, my friends here at the Blue Rock. Working to uh, take care of us, folks. So I, I hope that they like my chicken soup. I know they will. Some award winning chicken soup in that lodge. 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. <laughs> Eric's over here throwing this frisbee for the kids. It's one of those uh, floppy frisbees. I think they used to call it a flippy. <laughs> These kids ain't never seen that. They're just having a great time trying to catch that damn frisbee. <laughs> Post life is good. Hope everybody has a wonderful evening, a morning, a day, wherever you are on this beautiful planet that we call the Earth. We will see you on the next one. And peace out, my friends. So, why don't we get a bowl, put on his head, and just give him a bowl haircut? <laughs> no. 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 Put a bowl on your head? No. There you go. Good for you. Break them teeth then, too. Yeah. And they're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this cat. Six